Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Here we are going to check out the uh, decks that were played at the Charlotte Regional this past weekend. Won by Vinny Fernandez. Let's go check it out. Also the largest regional uh, ever to be held at 2,133 players. Battle Cells to Paradox Rift. That was the format, and here we are with the top 16 decks. You know, as you can see, a lot of different decks here. You know, we got uh, Giratina, Charizard, Gardevoir, Maridon, uh Lost Box, Charizard, Roaring Moon, an Arceus deck, Snorlax Stall, Mew Genesect, right? Uh, Entei Valiant, which is really cool. And then... Um, you know, obviously some of the other decks that didn't, uh, didn't make it, like, um, you know, Rapid Strike Urshifu down here, right? There was a lot of decks played at this tournament, so. Without further ado, let's get into the, uh, the, the decks. Let's go check them out. 16, we got, uh, here we are at Roaring Moon. And this looks like a classic one here. Um, there is no water energy in this one, which I really like. Um, I'm not a big fan of the two waters, as I think that they're kind of useless. And I'd rather just have more dark energies. That way, um, you know, I can just discard them a lot easier. And then uh, be able to get them back with Moltres and Dark Patch. Which, they, you know, which uh, you know is both played in here. Four patch, two Moltres, just a great card, backup attacker. Um, emergency Jelly, so this is pretty cool. Uh, at the end of each turn, if the Pokemon this card is attached to has 30 HP or less remaining and has any damage counters on it, heal 120 damage from it. And if you healed any damage in this way, discard this card. So, th th this is kind of an interesting card here, right? Um, I feel like... It'd be okay in some matchups, but not really uh, in, in some others. You know, any deck that, um, you know, can just one-shot a Roaring Moon, you know, even after that 120 gets healed, this card is pretty much useless. So, like, Charizard or, um, or you know, Mew Genesect, right? Um, Maridon. I don't really see this card uh, being too good, as you can just do you know, more than 120 damage and knock it out, right? Pardon me, it would be, actually be uh, 150. You need 150 uh, to heal it, right? Uh, because of all the, you know, pardon me, 150 uh, hit points remaining, right? Because it'll go from 0 to 200 when it's got 230. 230 HP, and then you heal um, 120 damage from it, right? Which will put it at 80, which means it'll have 150 HP left. So anything that can do over 150 damage to it, any Pokemon, this card's not really going to do much. All right, so Charizard EX, you know, hits for that 180, right? That'll um, obviously do it. Maridon, right? You know, can hit for, you know, that 220, right? Or that 200 or whatever, right? Not going to do anything. Mew Genesect will hit for that 190 mark. Not going to do anything, right? But against those Pokemon that can't do it, so I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking like, um, you know, Cramorant, Right, for and then in the Lost Zone uh, decks, Tina and Lost Zone Box, uh, Sableye won't be able to knock it out. Um, Iron Hands won't really knock it out, right? So, just those Pokemon that can't hit over that 150 damage mark just won't knock it out, right? And so, that's about basically probably about half the decks. And the uh, in the format right now, half the decks are a little bit less, right? Most will hit over it, so 
I'm not really a too like a big fan of this card. I don't think you need it. Um, I do like the uh, Pokemon Catcher in here, right? That's a pretty cool card, and especially since um, with Catcher here, you know, you want to be able to Catcher an Iono in the same turn type of thing, right? Or Catcher Sita's Vitality. I just really think it opens up the you know the deck to make some plays that uh, you know otherwise it normally wouldn't. You still have two boss as well uh, for those turns or um, you just, you know, just want to boss something, right? You don't need to play another supporter. So that's good. Um, yeah, everything else looks pretty good here. So I like the four seal stone in here with the two Moltres. Um, yeah, the Muse here is really good. The more Peko for the free retreats really good. Just pretty beautiful. Also, it's a great against, um, you know, uh, Gardevoir, right? And getting that uh, that donk, right? With the attack there for two darks. Um, does 70, so times two does one, uh, 140, right? So you can get that turn two donk if they can't set up, which I think happened, you know, a couple times during the event. But, uh, yeah, I really like this list. Energy switch as well is really good. You know, especially with Moltres there, it's been a uh, card that's been played together with it for a long time. Um, you know, back when it's like with the uh, the Arceus Moltres decks, the counter Mew when it came out. Um, the earlier versions of Eternatus played this, right? Eternatus VMAX, right? Back when it came out and uh, all when Moltres came out in Chilling Rain there. Right, so just a really lovely card here. I really love this card. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. A good list. Now we're gonna check out uh, Daniel Fapiano's Ente Iron Valiant. So this here, this here, I really like. Um, I've been having an argument with a few players at my local league. About this uh, deck uh, and, and not playing Radiant Charizard. Uh, I do think you need to play Radiant Charizard in here. And I say that just because of the um, Excited Heart there ability. You're not always going to you know, be attacking with this card. When they have like, you know, when they've taken only like, you know, two or three prizes right you may be attacking with this card when they have only taken one prize or even no prizes right because uh you know with that ability to get all the uh the extra energy on with the uh the magma basin etc right and then the double turbo so you use this a lot at any point in the game so i'm a big fan of having it in the deck uh the energy count i feel like is really good as is the Pokemon, you got the four Valiant here for the uh, the Tachyon Bits ability, right? You're not attacking with this, but you are attacking with the Entei, right? Uh, 230 HP, so it's pretty beefy. And then, you know, obviously that Fleet Footed and Burning Rondo, uh, just like the, um, you know, the, the Suicune and Entei of their... Uh, you know, obviously their respective types there, right? Two squawk abilities, so I really like this card in here too. Um, it's actually motivate, you know, motivates a pretty good attack in here. Let's get those energy back into play. You do not have a super rod in here, but you do have a, um, you got four magma basin, right? So that that's something that I might include. I might include like one in here. Just in case if you had to discard something. Uh, the Meta Chairman here for the Yoga Loop. For the, uh, you know, to be able to go an extra turn. So that's really good. And then lastly, the Trainers. The Trainers, I feel, are all actually really good. Um, the four Research, two Boss, two Colrus. I really like those. And then the Pokemon Search, right? There's no Ultra Ball in this list because you don't need it. 
as everything in here is all basic. Right, so you got the four battle VIP, three nest ball. That's pretty good. Um, you got your switch cards, you know, four escape rope, four switch, four switch card as well, so 12 switch, and then the two jet energies. So that's really good. Earthen vessel and lost uh, vacuum there. Great tax. Uh, earthen vessel is great to get those fire energies. And the vacuum there. And just another tool and stadium uh, eight card, right? So you already got four base in here, right? So it's not like you don't have a path to the peak counter, but it just adds a little bit more. And then obviously this here, uh, free retreat, which is good. And 20 more damage, right? Uh, you know, the attacks do so, but... You're not really uh, using it for that the 20 damage. You're using it for the free retreat. So, pretty good. I really like this list. It's a great, great list. Next, Julio Santos de Leon with another Roaring Moon. Uh, so, let's take a look here. So, this here is a little bit different. Um, it does play a Luminion V and a Galarian Moltres V and also no more Pe Peko, right? So one Luminion, one Galarian Moltres. The list that I looked at previously had two Galarian Moltres and the more Peko. And it also does play the three Water Energy. So I'm not really too sure how I feel about that. I think that you're going to miss, um... That uh, that dire flame wings really often because you're not gonna have a dark in the discard pile, so that I don't like. Um, it also does play. I think um, I think the supporter lineup was a little bit different. This plays four vitality here. Uh, choose up the two your ancient Pokemon. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. If you attach any in this way, draw three cards. So this is okay. So so the this here the the way that Greninja gets powered up is this card, right? You attach him to Roaring Moon, and then you got to energy switch him manually to the Greninja, right? So the amount of t you know um, cards that you need to pull off the um, the Moonlight Shuriken here on Greninja, right? The amount of cards that you need to get that done is just, it's really high. So th to me, I would just forgo this option, right? I, I would forgo it as, um, you know, I would just kind of go all in on Roaring Moon and the Moltres. And I'd make sure that these are Dark Energies, so that way this would get off very often. And then um, the other thing too would be that um, the Dark Patch gets off really often as well, right? So that's a, that's an interesting thing here. Canceling Cologne is, uh, you know, is really good um, in here. Because they have it for the, uh, the Mana Fee. Right, you know, you boss his orders and then Manaphy it. Uh, this one here also doesn't play well, it plays Cross Switcher instead. So, you know, you need to have you know, obviously two of those in your hand there. Um, so you could play Pokemon Catcher instead of this if you wanted, right? That way, you can have you know, a possible um, five switch cards. Then uh, just the three, right? Because you got one here and then two of these, may, you know, uh, are for one, right? So you only have three possible ways to switch. Whereas if you had four catcher and one boss, that's five possible ways. So you can do that. Um, Pokestop, right? So Pokestop. I think the last one too played Pokestop. So 
that's a pretty good uh you know stadium in here to get those energies into the discard pile so not too bad of a list not too bad i'm not a big fan of the water version but uh yeah not too bad of a list so Joe Turrent time here with Arceus. So, yeah, there we go. It's an Arceus uh, Regigigas deck, right? So, simple. You know, it's attack with Arceus. You're just going to be doing that, you know, the, basically the entire game until you can get to a point to use uh, Giga Impact on Regigigas V-Star. You know, the Star Guardian there, right, is pretty good right because if you're able to iono them and then star guardian them and then path to the peak them in the same turn right right at the end of the game you definitely have that win so uh four ultra ball four nest ball this is going to be the you know one of the the main uh pokemon search pairs moving forward uh you know once we have the rotation Full face card, so I haven't seen this one. Uh, if the Pokemon this card is attached to has no abilities, it takes 20 less damage from attacks uh, from your opponent's Pokemon. So I'm not really too sure on why this card's in here. I'm guessing it's there uh, to prevent a knockout on your uh, Arceus on your first turn, right? Uh, because of the 220 hp here right and you get you know let's say you go up against maridon you know they just um you know just attack with most uh with maridon there do that 220 you put this on you take 20 less damage so they're actually only hitting 200 which saves your arceus so i'm just one that one of the things that i don't like with this deck is uh the fact that um, there isn't any damage modifiers, so it's always 180, 180, 180, 180, right? Unless you get, you know, an Arceus powered up, uh, with basic energies, right? Which they have, you know, six different types here. So, in that case, you'll be doing that 200. Uh, and actually, speaking of the different types, they have each of these types in here. Uh, because of the uh, Pokemon it's been played with, right? The Lightning, obviously, for um, Flying Pikachu. The Dark for Umbreon, right? The Grass for Superior, right? You want to try and keep them thinking, right? On which version you are playing. So I really like this, this selection here. Um, you could even play the, uh, you know, the Fighting in the Metal if you want to uh, make your opponent think that you're playing Arceus Duraludon, right? So, yeah, pretty good. A couple Lost Vacuums, so that's an interesting card here. Um, I guess it's really good for your own path to the peak, as you can path it, you know, path lock yourself, right? Um, they, oh, they also do have one choice belt in here to put that from 180 to 210. But it just, it's not quite enough, uh, you know, to get that extra knockout. Um, I've seen a lot of lists, Arceus lists, play Radiant Alakazam too, which they don't have in here. They don't have a single Radiant in here, right? So, I'd be looking at playing one of those for sure. Um, they do have a Fire Energy, so you can, you know, really play Radiant Charizard if you wanted. I uh, know Super Odd as well. Right, for mainly these here. So I'd maybe include a copy of that. I'd like to also have maybe another switch card other than escape rope. Yeah, there's the Sharon's Care, which is basically a scoop up. Right, so that technically counts as a switch card, but it also does use up your supporter for the turn. Whereas, you know, if you have a... Uh, you know, have that switch, you can still have that attacking Pokemon on the board if it's heavily damaged and just attack with something else. And then that way you might get in another attack with it later or your opponent will KO it, you know, later, right? With like something like a boss or something like that, right? 
make them work for that kale. And then lastly, obviously the Iono Judge here, Path of the Peak. So the amount of Judge and Iono, it kind of it depends on the person, right? You can play three, three, or four and two in any combination, right? Just depends on what you like. Joe Turnton. Okay. Mew VMAX, J. Cristiano from Canada, my home country. There we go. So this here, yeah, this is a pretty solid list here. Um, the Pokemon, obviously, this is the double turbo Mew. You got two Fusion Strike Energy in here for um, Spiritomb, as lots are playing that, right? Um, and then the supporter count, three judge, two boss, one Iono, one Elsa Sparkle. I really like that. The Elsa is really nice too for the fusion strike energies. Um, hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Otherwise, you got the standard four ofs here. My Mew list, I played only three Chromomatics, so you can kind of depends on what you like right um, I think you can manage you know with three but if you want to play four go for it two switch one escape rope so I like that I uh, play double escape rope in mind and I actually play a switch cart one nest ball one feather ball I play that too a Hisuian heavy ball I do not play that as mine's a little bit more tact uh, for Charizard as I do have the uh, the TM in there Palpad, yeah, I like that. Three, four, seal stone, two box of disaster, and a choice belt. So I only play one box of disaster in mine and one choice belt, right? So, um, you know, as mine has a few other techs in it, and then three paths. So, beautiful list here. One of the cheaper decks, too, at 60 85. Raymond Long. From Canada again with Gardevoir. So another really cheap list at 38.25, right? If you're looking to play competitive in the Pokemon TCG, right? You can't get much cheaper than this. And just looking at this, right? I believe he's already won a uh, regional this year. Um, I think it might have been Pittsburgh. Correct me if I'm wrong, or Peoria. But, uh, yeah, he's got, uh, you know, four vaults here. He doesn't have the other one with the, uh, I think it's the paralyzing attack there, the 60 HP one. The three Curlia, one, uh, you know, other of the other Curlia with the Mirage Step, that's right. Two Gardevoir, two Gardevoir Shining Arcana, that's right as well. Um, Mew, Cresselia, Zacian V, Manaphy, Radiant Jirashi. And uh, pardon me, Radiant Greninja and Jirashi. It does not play the Screamtail. So a lot of decks, a lot of Gardevoir decks are playing that, right? I think that uh, it should be played as that Snipe is really good. But uh, yeah, the Pokemon looks pretty good. Other than that, the energies are right too. The Trainer Cards. So this is right here, right? Avery is actually coming in uh, pretty clutch. The Pokemon Search here, right? This is right here. We really love that. You know, and this here too. Really love that as well. And then these stadiums and this stadium counters. So this one plays one Lost Vacuum, two Artisan, one Collapse Stadium. I think the, um, the list that I viewed earlier right i might have no i didn't view this earlier i was looking at something else that I, I, at uh you know just before this but uh three stadiums and one vacuum that's pretty good right you you could maybe um cut uh you know one of these stadiums if you want for that scream tail right but it's not necessary it's just up to you and up to your preference, but uh, this is a really solid list here. I really like this list. Beautiful list. 
Snorlax stall, Calvin Connor, right? I'm not, I don't like this deck here, but, uh, you know, he's been playing it for a while. 40 39 the cost of it, too. So that's really good. Rotom V, Pidgeot V, yep. Spiritomb and Mimikyu. Yep, yep. And then just going through it, you know, obviously the Fortune Sisters for the discard. Sydney, the control of the board. Erica's invitation, you know, uh, for your uh, opponent's bench. Really like this counter catcher. Yep. Echoing Horn is in here too. The Bravery Charm. The Temple of Sinnoh. Just a completely stupid counter deck here. So, but he did well with it. And, uh, you know, obviously kudos to him. So, 10th place. Makani Tran with Arceus. So, this one here is a little bit different. This has got the same Regigigas V-Star, but it also does play the Zacian, right? And the energies are, uh, you know, not as spread out here. Um, I do like both of them. The list that I viewed earlier on this one. The six psychic energies are great for the uh, the Zacian here, All right? It does thirty more for each psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. So three, you know, we'll put it at a hundred and fifty, and then three more, we'll put it at uh, two hundred and forty, I believe. Uh, 3, 180, yeah, 240. Put it at 240 damage, so that's pretty good. And it gets your uh, your energies into play uh, a lot quicker, too, with Roar of the Sword, right, uh, to one of your Pokemon. So that Roar of the Sword can make sure that you get that energy if you don't draw it on that Arceus. Right? Your main priority with any Arceus deck is to get an energy on that Arceus by the end of your first turn, right? That's your priority. And then that way you can, you can, uh, you know, evolve to Arceus V-Star, right? And then just search for that double turbo and, you know, just start attacking with it right away. That's your priority. Uh, supporters here I really like, right? The, uh, the last one that I seen, um, had two judge, four Iono. It also had four boss. And then, um, I believe it was two Sharon's Care. This one plays a Palpat here, so I kind of like that for the extra Judge and Sharon's Care, as well as that fourth boss. The belt in there and the box of disaster. The box is interesting. I haven't seen that one in an Arceus deck before. So that, uh, you know, it can obviously definitely work. And then, obviously, the four path to the peak is this is an Arceus deck. 5227, so it's kind of right in the middle there. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good deck. The V-Guard and the Jet Energy, too. I really like those in here. Any Arceus deck, I feel like, should be playing these. Um, the Jet Energy, for sure. Right now, the V-Guard is okay. Uh, but when we move uh, to Brilliant Stars on, so F... Onwards, I can see this going away. All right. Top eight, Russell Montero with Giratina V Star. So, this one here. Uh, just looking at it, I really like this. I really like um, the fact that it only only plays one Sable Eye right now, which is you know which is right considering the amount of Jirashi that's being played. Uh, Gardevoir, Charizard, right is uh, you know are playing that. Um, yeah, so that's really good. The Drapion is an interesting card in here, right? I do like the Drapion for the uh, surprise 
uh, KO on the Mew VMAX, right? Because with this and a uh, Lost Requiem on, uh, pardon me, Star Requiem on Giratina there, that's two automatic KOs on Mew VMAX, which just makes your matchup even better. So I really like that. Energies I do like in here as well. Um, one big thing is that, you know, two or three water, right? The th third water gives you that Greninja option to Moonlight Shuriken. But then at the same time, right, how often are you going to get that Greninja off that Moonlight Shuriken, right? Nearly every deck right now is playing Manaphy. So the only way to get rid of that Manaphy is to boss or counter catch it and then knock it out with a Cramorant or just to use Sableye's Lost Mine on it and just knock it out, right? And then get the Greninja, right? It just, it's a whole lot of work and um, sometimes the cards just don't end up playing like that, right? So this could very well be the better version. And having that fourth psychic energy just makes it a lot easier, you know, for Giratina's attacks and then Sableye as well. Supporters here, I really like uh, the debate on two Roxanne versus one Roxanne, one Iono. That's been an ongoing player preference. Avery here is really good. A lot of decks are having high benches right now. Uh, for Mirage Gate, it's Tina. You need four. Uh, your Pokemon Search. Battle VIP and three Nest Balls. So that's really good. Three Switch, two Switch Carts. Um, no Escape Rope in here, which is surprising, right? I like playing... Um, I put in my list, personally, I play three Escape Rope, two Switch Cart, one Switch, right? So I can see... This moving from three switch to two switch and an escape rope or two escape rope, one switch. Keep the switch cart the same. Super rod's good. The poke gear, you know, that to me is debatable. I'm not really too sure if you need it, but it can definitely help you get into that extra, you know, that coal rest there. Counter catcher, obviously good and path to the peak. Just a great list here. Beautiful list. 61.74.2, so average. Ross Cawthon with Roaring Moon. So, his is a little bit different here. Um, you know, it doesn't play the water energies, which I like is right. His also plays more research, right? As you just want to just be able to draw cards, right? You're not always going to get this off. So you just want to draw cards. So I really like that. More of a supporter based deck too. Um, the um, Iono and Judge, I really like that in here as well. The Pokemon Search, Battle VIP and Ultra Ball, really good. Energy switch, obviously, for the Moltres here, which is really good. Um, trekking shoes to Turbo Earthen Vessel for energy search. Two switch cards here, which I like. Palpad for supporters back. Obviously, um, the uh, the four seal stones for the Vs that we have. We got the uh, Moltres there. Booster Energy Capsule for Roaring Moon. Emergency Jelly, so I already mentioned this earlier, right? Um, he only plays one, so it's it's not too bad, right? It just depends on um, on the matchup, right? I personally wouldn't play this. I don't think it's needed, but if you want to, then go for it. And then the stadiums, so three Pokestop, one Town Store. Right, I've been seeing a lot of them play four Pokestop, right? And that's it. I actually kind of like this a little bit better. Um, the Pokestop there, right? Uh, you you got the, um, obviously, the uh, the chance to draw, you know, some item cards. 
but then the town store searches for your tools right you got five tools here right i think that's a great card to include heck my my metal glc deck right now plays town store and i really like it on there so and this is 8012 so this is one of the higher costing decks Isaiah Bradnear here uh, with Giratina Lost Zone Box. So once again, you know, this is a great list. Doesn't play the Drapion, said to play a, um, a second Poke Gear, right? Very similar to the last one. Uh, and he's been playing it for a long time, so... Uh, he's definitely like, you know, one of the masters with this deck. Um, it's a deck that I carried my gym bag and it's a deck that I would definitely recommend um, to, you know, people to build. But it does take a lot of thinking. So if you're not looking for something uh, complex to play, right, then um, if, if you're wanting something more simple, then don't play this. Right, as it requires a lot of thinking, a lot of things to keep track of. But all in all, a very good list. Next, Alex Shemansky here with uh, Lost Zone Box Charizard, so Sablezard. Right, um, it does still have the two Sable Eyes, so I'm not really too sure how I. You know, feel about that, you know, especially with all the Jirashi running around, <laughs> which it plays, by the way, the Jirashi. So that's interesting. I've never seen that in a Lost Zone deck before. The Jirashi, um, I'm not too sure if I'd even play it. Um, the energies here, these are, this is pretty standard. The double turbo, obviously, for the Charizard there and the Drapion if needed. Right. Um, yeah, Colrest, Clara, Raihan, Boss, Roxanne. So that's standard for supporters. Uh, this Pokemon Search, Battle VIP, Nest Ball, and Fog Crystal. So really good. With um, Hisui and Heavy Ball as well. Your switch cards, you got switch cart, escape rope, and you know, you do have a single beach court in here for one less retreat, so that's pretty good. I like that. Poke gear to dig for some more supporters, super odd for uh, putting uh, Pokemon energy back into the deck. Counter catcher, you know, your second and third boss, two vacuum, which is really good. And then, you know, play a single Mirage Gate uh, just to be able to get that Psychic and the Fire Energy. Um, you know, attach them to a Pokemon. TM De-Evolution. So, I really like this. I think this, this is a great card versus Charizard and Gardevoir. Right? So, I think it should definitely play this. Artisan in here for more Pokemon Search. So, I really like this list. I think this is a great list. I wouldn't be playing this deck personally, as this is not me, but a uh, great deck. And this is one of the cheaper ones, too, at thirty-two seventy-one. This is probably the cheapest one on here. So, really good. Ryan Miller with Maridon. So, a little bit on the higher end at sixty-seven forty-one. Uh, so right away, I noticed no Raikou and only a 1-1 uh, one, one Flaffy line. I'm not really too sure how I feel about that. I personally like the 2-2 two, two Flaffy. And I do like the um, the uh, the, Raich, pardon me, the Raikou, right? But um, th I think the reason why it's moving away from the Raikou is for the Raichu plays. And that dynamic spark, right? With the experience shares in here and the peony to be able to grab the electric generators, right? Getting that five energy on here for that 300, 
is uh, is pretty huge. So that's pretty good. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, the Zapdos to hit that odd um, that odd HP mark, so that 310, that uh, that 260, right? That uh, um, was it two two ten, right? So that definitely helps the Drapion in here for the Mew, right? As Mew absolutely crushes this deck, so a lot of players are teching for it. And then the uh, the trainer cards, the energy is really good, but the trainer cards, um, I really like the Pokemon Catcher in here because so that way you can catch her and Peony in the same turn. And then electric generator, right? Pretty good. One battle VIP, which I'm, you know, that's kind of surprising. I don't think you need that. You got two Maridon in here, which sets itself up. But if one of these are prized, then I can kind of understand. Nest Ball, Ultra Ball, you get lots of Pokemon search. Uh, it's not, not a bad card. Uh, four seal stone. I personally like two in here in this deck, right? I would play two. That's just me. You play a lot of V's. You play four V's. Luminion, Drapion, and two Raichu, right? So I think you can warrant a second one. Town store is really good to search it out, right? Um, to be honest, like this is great for a peony version. I myself like the uh, the Judge Path version a little bit more, and that's how I would play mine. But I think this is a really good list uh, for this version. So, top three Gardevoir with Gustavo Wada. So not gonna spend too much time here. So this here, no Cresselia. So that's kind of okay. Um, it could, you could play it, right? I, I would personally play it. I'd play all of these. Um, the Ralts, I might go like 3-1. Right? Uh, or this, right? But I'd still play the uh, the Cresselia. Energy's good. And then the Trainers. So this is right. Um, I really like this. I like the boss. I like the worker. Like the Turo, there's no Avery in here. So that's an interesting card. All right, I personally, I think I'd play the Avery. I'd play at least one. The Search here is good. The Rare Candy Super Odd Counter Catcher is really good. And then the uh, the Stadium Hate here. All right, Lost Vacuum, Artisan, and Collapse Stadium is really good. So another really good list here. Not spending too much time on this, right? Uh, and also you have the worker for a stadium hate and it draws cards, so. Really good list. Caleb Rogerson with Charizard. The most expensive deck right now in the metagame. Hands down, it's the best deck. Uh, Charizard here, you know, the uh, EX. 44.88 for three of them. So what is that like? Like uh, what? I don't know. Like 14, 15 each, right? Is somewhere in there. Um. Yeah. So that's really good. Pokemon lineup looks pretty solid. I do like this layout here. Two, one, and one, and then this one here is right. The 90 HP one. And you heard. Uh, if you watched his interview. On the. You know during the regional stream. Right right at the end there. I, I believe it was when he was talking about. You know. Um, the reason why he plays so well. He literally just took Azul's list here. And just played it. Right and that's crazy. You know with today's meta game. Or today's day and age that you can just go do that. You can just go on a website, find a deck list, and play it, and then do well at a tournament. Like that's crazy. Um, yeah, all these people played it too. 
trainers look good. Yep, yep, yep. I like this. The uh, the TM Dievo here. Great for the uh, the mirror match in Gardevoir. Just a beautiful list. And then lastly, uh, Vinny Fernandez here with Lost Tina. So, really like this too. Pokemon's good. Energy's really good. And then the supporters, pardon me, the trainers here. Supporters are solid. The, uh, the Pokemon Search is solid. Obviously got the four gates. Four switch cart, right? You got f four jet energy, four switch cart, right? I would maybe want another switch card, but it's not needed. Two Poke Gear I really like in here. Uh, the two Super Odds, right? One Counter Catcher. One or two. It's debatable. And then I really love this. I think every one of these decks should play it. Uh, four Path to the Peak. It's just that good. And it just shuts down um, your opponent. So... What a great card, and especially with that Roxanne in there, that double Roxanne, right? And that's like I said, you know, with the with the Iono versus Roxanne debate, you just kind of gonna weigh, you know, uh, what's the best option, right? You know, Iono, you know, is better, you know, um, when your opponent's really low on prizes, right? If they're that one or two mark, but it's also um, good, you know, early game if you need to get cards in your hand. Whereas the Roxanne, you know, it's a conditional Iono, basically. So, this here is a really solid list. But yeah, there you go, everybody. That is the top 16 decks. Blake Divini. Uh, just kind of go through here. Some other ones, you know, a lot more Maridon. Uh, Intellion or Shifu, Mew, Charizard. There's a Goldengo here that got 31st. Probably 30th. Right, more Gardevoir, Marino, Ente, Iron, Valiant. Snorlax, Lost Tina. Roaring Moon, lots of it. Chin, Pal, Baxcalibur. You know, at, at 58 there, that's crazy. I can't believe that deck's still being played. Carlos Medina Estets. 71. With the same deck. Another Arceus variant. Zorark box here at 106. Yeah, pretty much everything's pretty good here. Nothing too interesting. More Arceus, Snorlax, Gardevoir, Charizard, Lost Zone. There's a Fusion Mew here. Azul didn't even do well at this event either. He got 169, so that's crazy. Maridon. And that is really it. So. But uh, yeah. There you go everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment. Subscribe. Uh, as well. And. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to say thanks for watching. And once again. See you in the next video.